Sometimes a home reflects the owner in a very obvious fashion, and that's definitely the case when it comes to the whimsical mansion of Penn Gillette. One half of the magician duo Penn and Teller Gillette spent decades creating the unusual property in Las Vegas, Nevada. Until that is, he created a family and the bachelor abode had to go. Today we're going to look at this unique and unusual house that's nicknamed the Slammer. We'll see all the amazing features within, and what happened to the house, we'll even look at the other multi-million dollar estate that Gillette purchased in Vegas. So let's get started. All the way back in 1982, a frame house was created in an 8.59 acre plot of land within Las Vegas. Fast forward to 1994, Penn Gillette decided to buy it for a reported $184,000 today. That's nearly $332,000. From there, the magician began building around the house to create his quirky dream with architect Colin Summers. The inspiration started out as a prison, hence its name, the Slammer. The design grew more colorful as time went on, which is evident from the vibrant clock face on the side of the property and that showcases its name. The abode eventually reached 7,932 square feet altogether. It contained 7 bedrooms, 6 bathrooms, and 2 half bathrooms. Famously, the property was painted with bright, often clashing colors. Whilst inside the unusual decoration theme continues, including cheetah print, carpeting, and different colors in each room, in interviews, Gillette has described the slammer as it's the house of a 12-year-old with a lot of money. After all, Gillette certainly has a lot of money as part of Penn & Teller. They've headlined shows around the world and created TV shows about their love of magic. While Gillette has personally acted in shows such as Modern Family and Friends, he's been in films like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, video games like Borderlands. He also has a podcast and has released a couple of albums. As such, he said to have a net worth of around $200 million. The property is spread out into different wings with the help of many buildings. There is the family wing where a kitchen and the bedroom of Gillette's wife Emily and their children reside. Mostly there is Gillette's work wing where a number of rooms that Gillette uses are such as his fluorescent pink office that contains a number of mugs from the shows that Gillette has appeared in. The office even has a urinal and a sink. Speaking of, there's even one bathroom that's been decorated with Scrabble titles. Then there's a two-story entertainment section. When people entered, they would have a mugshot taken off to prison. There's even a police outline of Teller holding a knife on the floor within another kitchen. There's also a fire pole leading from the outdoor catwalk in the backyard. On top of this, it could be converted into a recording space for musicians. The films are projected onto a screen that comes down and covers the stage. Back in 2007, Gillette was using a 96-inch wide Stewart film screen. Today, similar updated versions can cost as much as $12,900. He also had a run Corvex 4000D projector. It cost nearly $20,000 upon its release in 2003. Gillette also has a recording studio that he used for Penn's Sunday School podcast. Typically, creating smaller recording studios cost a few hundred dollars to reinstall. Typically, creating a smaller recording studio costs a few hundred dollars to install, which is ideal for podcasts. If you lack the space, podcast studios can be rented for $10 an hour, but it can go as high as $300 for the fancier kind. Also on the grounds is an outside lap pool for the family to enjoy. According to experts, typical lap pools can cost between $40,000 to $65,000 to install. However, for those larger lap pools, it can reach up to $100,000. There's also a spa on site as well as outside the entertainment wings. It's pond shaped like a goldfish snack cracker that's filled with a variety of fish. It also hosted 11 turtles. Depending on the age, species, and size, turtles can cost up to $2,000. As such, just the turtles could have cost Gillette $22,000. After he created a family, Gillette attempted to turn the slammer into a child-friendly abode, but it didn't work out as well as he hoped, especially as the mansion is pretty isolated from other amenities, so the family decided to move on to pastures new. In 2013, the Slammer was listed for $2.1 million. After a month, it was taken off. During 2015, a crowdfunding began to purchase. The Slammer for the United Church of Bacon at the time, developers were circling a desert estate. The United Church of Bacon wanted to turn the property into a community center for atheists and skeptics. They stated they needed $3 million to purchase and renovate the Slammer. However, a minimum of $500,000 was required just to maintain the property. However, they only managed to raise $23,910 through their campaign page. As such, the Slammer would then arrive back on the market during 2016 for the same asking price of $2.1 million. Soon, it was sold for $1.88 million to developer Larry Canelli, the founder of American West Homes. 
Cantrella owned thousands of acres within Nevada, some of which already surround the Slammer. He slammed he planned to raise a quirky property and create a number of homes in its place. Yet by 2019, he sold a large portion of lots and American West homes to the Pult Group for more than $150 million. With the deal done and dusted, Gillette decided to have some fun with demolishing the estate. At the time he was shooting his film, The Grounds, one of the scenes involved a tank being driven through the property. Instead of using a fake set, they drove the tank through the real slammer. Unfortunately, there was an epic destruction. Instead, the tank got stuck in front of a room after hitting a hidden crawl space. Later on, the house was completely demolished. The house that Gillette and his family decided to call home is only 11 miles away from the slammer. In 2015, Gillette splashed out $3.3 million on his new fancy abode located in the luxury community called The Ridges. The mansion was built in 2008. The community has its own golf course, clubhouse, and fitness center. Before Gillette purchased it, the mansion was on the market for $3.85 million, so the magician managed to match it $500,000 off the asking price. Located on a 0.4 acre lot sits the 7,808 square foot house. It has 5 bedrooms and 6.5 and bathrooms through its contemporary style interior. The master bedroom even has an end suite, complete with a jacuzzi bathtub, a steam shower, and a balcony. Many of the rooms provide great views of the Las Vegas Strip and the surrounding mountains. No Gillette house would be completed without extra features. It has a swimming pool, a spa, a gourmet kitchen with oversized islands and granite countertops, a media room, a wet bar, and a wine cellar. Final fact finish, during 2017, the most expensive poster of a magician was sold at auction in Chicago. The images of the legendary illusionist Harry Houdini performing his famous underwater seal escape. The poster was said to have been printed in London during 1912, only a year after he invented the trick. The original print was sold for $114,000. This is it for today. Subscribe to our channel for more videos and we will see you in the next video. And until then, goodbye.